Monkey bar workouts are always good fun and they're one of my most favorite forms of exercise. But what do you do when your hands are sore? Without doubt, the question I get asked the most when it comes to monkey bar workouts is what do you do for sore hands? So today I'm gonna to give my general tips on how best to manage your hands so you can get the most out of your monkey bar training. To see the benefits that regular monkey bar training gives you, such as improvements in the look of your physique, improved core and grip strength, better coordination and better body awareness, you need to be able to last long enough on the monkey bars before your hands give out. Keep watching to find out how to do that. And keep watching as for the first time ever, I wear gloves on the bars to see if they really make a difference. But first, a crucial factor that shouldn't be overlooked when discussing hand health is the type of bars you use. Bars come in many different shapes and sizes and are made from different materials and each can affect your hands differently. Smooth wooden bars are in the most part easier to grip than metal bars, but the general rule is if it's easier to grip it will lead to sore hands quicker. Metal bars themselves can vary quite a bit. My experience with metal bars at obstacle courses is they tend to be rougher, which is useful as they sometimes are likely to be wet and the extra roughness will help overcome slipping. Generally speaking, monkey bars at obstacle courses don't tend to stretch very far, which reduces the chances of the hands becoming sore, so it's useful to have rougher bars. Unless, of course, they are the world's longest monkey bars. Painted metal bars can be more sticky, which again helps grip, but increases the chances of the hands ripping. And if it's a hot day and the bars are in the sun, I find they become even more sticky. And that goes for all metal bars in my experience, painted or non-painted. So with all that in mind, will gloves help for any of it? Are they the solution? The moment of truth, I'm going to test a simple pair of gloves to see if they affect my grip in any way. I'm going to do a number of sets to see if they stop my hands from getting sore. When I'm doing the full swing, I can actually feel that it pulls a little bit on the main part of the hand, so I'm not sure if it's going to help with the soreness. I can definitely feel the grip helps. Bars are sticky on days like this, but I can see it would make a difference when they are smooth. You know what, I'm actually finding the gloves move. I might do it about. That was the biggest problem for me. I felt restricted with the gloves on and didn't feel as I could get the same freedom and flow I usually get without gloves. They were more distracting than anything else. As I said though, they are quite grippy and probably good for beginners who struggle with grip and they might be of help for side technique and forward bar to bar. Maybe it's just because I'm not used to gloves. So I've personally chosen not to wear gloves when I train, mainly because I've always had in the back of my mind, I may one day compete in especially things like Ninja Warrior, and in which case you can't wear gloves anyway. So I've always felt it best to train without gloves. And the same with obstacle courses, I've heard that gloves aren't always a good thing. If you're doing muddy runs, then they will get wet and that can affect how useful the gloves would be on the monkey bars. If they're wet, they probably won't make a difference anyway. So let's say you've chosen not to wear gloves. How do you deal with sore hands? Here's what I've learned over the years, my tips on hand management. When I set myself my goal to complete the world's longest monkey bars, I knew I had to condition my hands as much as I did my muscles. And that was just a case of putting the work in and clocking up the minutes. And that's what I did. Several sessions each week, building up time spent on the monkey bars. And always with the full swing technique. 
which, because of the movement of the hand around the bar, creates more friction, which leads quicker to sore hands and increases the chances of the hands ripping. And a ripped hand for me at that time would have been disastrous as it would have meant I would have lost training time whilst I allowed the hands to recover. To overcome this, I would regularly assess my hands and shave down any hardened sore calluses. And I'd also become better at knowing when my hands had had enough. I was patient with my body's adaptation and I wouldn't push it too much. I could recognize when they're about to blister or rip and I'd stop at that point. As with everything, this improves with practice. You better understand what the body can cope with, the hands toughen up, the muscles get stronger, and recognizing when you've had enough is a discipline in itself, and you can always have too much of a good thing, right? Hopefully these tips have helped. Let us know what works for you. Let me know if you're a glove wearer, and let me know if you have any tips. Thanks for watching, see you soon.